been a music program at the school since 1869 in this very room, which is the original building. The first thing I did as a music teacher was to put a computer in and plug it into the hi-fi so that all music, whether it's a CD or a MIDI file, was played through the computer. One of the main benefits of using technology in the classroom is it enables children that aren't as successful playing traditional instruments another way in. They don't actually have to master an instrument to be able to collaborate and to write music. So if you want the same notes, you just transpose them down an octave or maybe even two octaves. We use different programs for different purposes, for learning instruments, also to enable children to compose their own songs. We're using the MIDI file. We don't have all the instruments, like the tennis act and stuff, so we're going to use that when we perform it to sort of give back up to the actual well. instruments. We use a lot of programs that are free, like the Bambasco MIDI player and MIDI files themselves, which children can find readily on the internet, right through to um, video editing, like Adobe Premiere Pro and Sibelius notation software. MIDI files and open them with the Van Basco player, which you've done before. I think computers are particularly engaging because of the interactive elements now, that children have come to expect, like and they're very used to thinking of computers as tools to get, to get a job done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What instrument would, would be good for that, do you think? Violin, I think. Violin, I think, too. I get children to write songs Strings. right from the beginning because these mm. programs give them the skills to do so and by using computers they get instant gratification of actually hearing their thoughts as they occur and then they can come back to them and refine them as they go. Uh, recorder? A recorder. We did have a TT, but it's not TT, there's only one of them. Ta -ti -ta. By making the music relevant to children, by teaching them theory from songs that they know, they're able to understand that we're not talking about an abstract thing, that music is something they can hear and experience for themselves. And if we start off slow, Declan, 70%. And so here we go. Music is one of the discipline based learning areas because it has very specific skills, but by broadening it to performing arts, it brings in dramatic and other elements. I think the most innovative way we've been able to incorporate a lot of the different learning areas is through the film festival that we have. When the children know they've got to come up with a whole range of scenarios, it goes beyond music and acting to be a whole lot of other things. I think one of the best things that you can do is to know exactly what you want to achieve. And then if you need to learn a new program to do it or you need to ask someone to help you expand your skills within the programs you're already using, that's what will happen.